I'm, I'm curious about mm -hmm. one thing, and again, yeah. my kids are much too yeah. young for this, but your kids are older now, and right. uh, do you ever expose your kids to films that meant a lot to you when you oh, were younger? Yeah. Is that something you do when your children are a little older? Yeah, yeah, and sometimes they're hard to find. Sometimes you can find them, you know, on, like, you know, Escape to Witch Mountain or something like that. That's easily available. Right, that's a there, classic. That's yeah. right, yeah. But then there was this movie that I was looking for for years called Ring of Bright Water. Do you know it? I've never heard of it? that. Ring of it, Bright Water? I saw Water? it in a drive-in when I was, like, eight years old, and it's all about a man and his pet otter. And I got it on Netflix, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I've been looking for this for years. So I said, oh, kids, kids, this is, like, my favorite when I was, when I was little. I said, it has a sad ending, but I, I remember it's really, really good. It's so good. Let's, I, I've got it here Saturday night. Let's watch it. Could so you we, remember we it that it. well? I could remember everything except the end, which I knew was sad, but, but it was delightful. And this guy's in London. He walks by a pet store, and there's an otter in the window. And he says, hey, I love that otter. I'm going to buy it. And he brings him home, and he, he knocks over the stuff in his house, and, and he ruins the fishbowl. And so he's like, I can't live here anymore. I need to move to Scotland. So he moves to Scotland uh -huh. with his pet otter, and they have a wonderful time, and they buy a beautiful house, and they're, they, they make friends in the village. Village, including a beautiful Scottish doctor who's a terrible actress, but she's very pretty. <laughs> and, and, she has a, um, and she has a lovely Cocker Spaniel, and the otter and the Cocker Spaniel are friends, and they play, and he falls in love with the doctor, and my kids are like, oh, mommy, mommy, this is the best movie this ever. This is great, it's you're bonding. Great. Yeah, yeah. I just love it. I said, oh, isn't it great? It's so much fun. At that point, my daughter's like, I'm really tired of going to bed. I said, well, we'll tell you, the six-year-old, we'll tell you how it hap what happens in the morning. And my son and I are sitting there, he's 10. And he, it's so, everything's going so wonderfully, the guy's going to write a book about it. And he goes to London to publish this book about this beautiful otter and his friendship. Sure. So he's left with a Scottish doctor and a cocker spaniel, and they're running through the fields. They say hi to a farmer in the fields. Hi, farmer. Hi, farmer. Splash, splash, splash. Fun, fun, fun. And the farmer says, hi, hi, doggy. Otter, otter. Ugh! And he decapitates it with what? a shovel. <laughs> and, and he chops son, his head off? And my son says, mommy! And I said, I, I knew it was sad. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't remember that? I didn't remember why. <laughs> Clearly, I had blocked it out. <laughs> Then you're like, let's watch the movie let's Carrie. Watch it. I, I know. remember something, something happens, happens in the end, end, but I don't remember what. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I God! Know, so I, know. I hope you made up something I know. for in your the daughter. I said, oh, the otter ran away. <laughs> <laughs> but he was very yeah. happy. He was so happy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Don't tell her about yeah. a flying the otter guy, head. Well, the other thing, the guy too, when he decapitated the otter, he just looked up and he goes, I thought it was just an otter. Uh, and you're like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> I've never yes, heard of this but it movie. Was a pet otter. Right. I have to I see know. this movie yeah. now. Ring I'm of obsessed with water. that. Ring of bright water. Yeah, All right. Let's plug that movie instead. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs>